tap here to start. You got it. Ooh. She already did her swimming at the start of the game. Six to seven hours, whole game, depending on what you choose. We're coming up on the, like, six to seven hour mark now. Shit! Are you okay? I beat my record. Beat my record. March 17th, 2021. 2012, I mean. Hey, do we have to play Zoe now? Forget something? Hmm? Oh, my Thanks. goggles. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Not really feeling it. Oh, right. Look, that thing you were doing, in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of a pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? Sense of control, challenging myself, it's where I feel okay. The sense of control. Down there, the only person looking out for me is me. So I've got to step up and take control of myself. Sounds kinda... lonely? Maybe I like it that way. I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class captain of the soccer team and then and one day we're all on this field trip and boom she disappears gone we event i just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen okay uh thanks Right. Maybe. Just ask for me. My name's May. With a Y. Got it. <laughs> so she thought she saw Jay, I guess? Is that what that was? Fourteen years earlier! <laughs> Okay, I got a bus ticket for 2 p.m. I also called home and had a chat with Mima. What did she say? That I didn't give my dad enough of a chance, that he loves me more than I realize, blah, 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 and we both need to try harder. Fair. I don't know. Maybe she's right. She's right. What's in the bag? This? Just some food? For once you start the hike? It'll make the money last a little longer. You didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do any of this. Anyway, I guess this is it. Thanks for your help. Don't forget about me. Please don't mention Canada. I'm going to just say thanks for you. 
You've done so much for me. I don't even know how to say thank you. The you subtitle said, I it. don't how to. You did a lot for me, too. I, I should get going. And I should start reading Jane Eyre, because apparently I'll be back for the last week of school after all. <laughs> Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye, Vanessa. It was nice knowing you. Go back to have a real normal life, not on, a, on the run with an outlaw. Zoom! So do I have to sneak across the border now? He's, she said that he would drop him off at a gas station. Maybe there's a gas station we didn't see. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Uh, keep listening. Describe Jay Holt, who confessed to his crimes before fleeing custody, as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. I didn't confess. He tricked me. Holt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, please call 911 and make... This is fucked up. I made the news. Glad Vanessa left. <sighs> Sorry you got pulled into all this. At least you're safe now. We can hope anyways. Okay, now it's the driving section of the game. Roadblock! I knew it. Let's play it safe. Play it cool. It's fine. It's fine. If I go to jail, I go to jail. Morning. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Mm -hmm. Were you there? No, sir. I'm just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? Salt Lake City, baby. Salt Lake City. I have family back there. Uh huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration. Be on your way. Check the glove box. Sure. Just a sec. Is there a Wait, gun in there? It? Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, 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 shit. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? I'll wait. If I get arrested, I get arrested. Whatever. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right. I'm going to let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I'll explain, Hello, officer. officer. Immediately starts making excuses. What a dumbass. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> Y2K, baby. Craigasm. Look at the mountains. Guy's gonna die of frostbite. Fourteen years later. St. Louis, Missouri. Organic coconut oil. Hey, Dad. You um, 
Working late? Yep. Boss just dumped another mountain of overtime on me. Ah, same old, same old. So, um... You okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> so how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? School's cool. I might drop out... To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're <laughs> dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just... weighing my options, that's all. Dropping out? Is that Zoe? Relax, honey, she isn't dropping out. You bet your pants she isn't. <laughs> not without talking to us first. Oh. You got like Zoe? PTSD, man. Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Just puts it in the old hot deck shoes box. You must have got more than one letter then. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. <laughs> yeah, she needs to have some counseling. He's obviously Shit. having troubles. Where is the other bottle? Where is the other bottle? Search the bedside table. Search the drawer. Let's search the drawer. that some water's dripping turn off the facet huh. I can't look out the window search cupboard search apron turn on light oh that's <laughs> okay Very convenient uh, light breaking. Yep, yep. PTSD for sure. Oh. A dream within Jesus. a dream? Inception. Go we'll turn off the faucet again. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? Uh. I don't know. I have a panic attack here. Who's there? Nobody. Ah, the old Mesa Roo. Uh, stay inside or check hallway? I would stay inside, of course. I didn't realize staying inside meant opening the door. <laughs> Lock the door. Forgot to lock the door. Uh, hello? Hey, Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. 
Um, Jim is alive. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Uh -huh. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Uh -huh. Hey there, Zussie, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Oh, yeah. What did he look like? Did he hurt you? What else did he take? Did he take anything else? Yes, my slippers. Oh, give me a break. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized oh, is this he, at, like, uh, keys, he broke the door to get back in. Like, is that this at... is not true. I wanted some air, An old folks' so home? I, I took a walk and uh, and I, I saw someone and uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh, God or... damn it. I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Yeah, we'll pay for it. We'll pay, we'll pay, we'll pay. Send us the bill. Huh? I'll make sure it gets paid for. Thank this guy you. reminds me of my uncle? That. Yeah, it's every old timer, dude. Please get him help. <laughs> a conspiracy to extort money from a vulnerable old man. That's what this is. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. I can believe it, you old fuck. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. Oh, yeah. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? I'm having uh, PTSD flashbacks. No big deal. Hey. I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Uh, good if I take meds. Having nightmares. Yeah, having nightmares. Why not? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually... I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told mom and dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic I spent. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. Yeah. I don't know, Grandpa. I agree. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, yeah. problems run after you. <sighs> Very suicidal speaking. Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe uh -oh. I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. 
What am I going to find? His collection of porno mags? I'm a little scared now. Let's look on the shelf. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to... Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. There's the wallet, Grandpa, you old fuck. Uh, the sofa? It's probably in a crack of the sofa. Let's look in the sofa crack. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after, you know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. Grandpa. Oh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Mm -hmm. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. Master of How can I None. be sure of something I can't remember? How are you? Have you never gone into a room? forgotten why you came in haven't you ever misplaced or lost something oh no, sorry lost plenty i apologize i don't want to lose you too how's it going lady dude <laughs> shelby's right it's getting worse places dates the school i went to it's like someone slowly packing my memories into boxes and None of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Feels pretty bad. For me, a relief. I'm gonna go with Grandpa what he wants here. Sounds terrible. Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. That was you the rest of the stream, I Master. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Good so, God. Look, I know you went through hell as a kid, seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. It has. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think you're huh? crazy at all. <laughs> because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. It's impossible. What are you barking at? Why would the dog bark at that guy across the street? Oh, she's busted down there. Stop! Let's catch him. Why are you following me? What do you want? Dodge! Get on my way, you long-haired fuck. Damn! Uh, almost died. Stop! Stop, I said! Get the fuck off me! Oh, it's an old bird. I thought you were... How did she outrun me, that old bird? How did she outrun me? That's crazy. Oh, sweetheart. 
It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you. Trying to forget. Yep. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Look it in the eye and... Oh, see she's going to read the letters. Okay, interesting. How many are there? If the past talks to you, you listen. Just a few. What do we got here? And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. Please, please write back, Jay. Glacier National Park. Dear Zoe, this is now my third letter. I haven't heard back from you, so I hope you're getting them. I was thinking today about the last time I saw you. You were a little kid, clinging to your family. I was an 18 year old, clinging to the idea of freedom. You better start learning kilometers there, buddy. So he gets away, obviously. Otherwise, he's not writing these letters. I remember your face when I let you go. It felt right to me, knowing you'd get clear of us. <sighs> Yeet! But in other ways, nothing that day <coughs> felt right. I know my family scarred you for life. Leave no mark. Don't carve your name in a tree in the forest. Leave no mark. They left their mark on me too. I wonder every day who I could have been if we hadn't robbed that house. Yeah, exactly. Who could they have been? There's a lot I want to say to you, Zoe. Things to ask. Things to explain. About how we came to be at the motel that night. Look at that what waterfall. happened in the that mountains looks cool. a few days afterward. I'm sure you learned some of it as you got older. But there's other things I'm sure you don't know. What, do I just stay here? Let's keep hiking. Please write back, Zoe. I need to hear from you. Yours, Jay. Hey there. How's the hike? Look at this guy. Why is it playing okay. ominous music? Park Rangers is going to be like, have a good time. Uh... I was trying to work out where I am. Oh, well, let's see. This here's Jacob's Ridge. And that down there is Lake Blackfoot and the de facto Canadian border. Oh. And if you continue up that trail over there, you'll get to the top of Blackfoot Falls. Where's the border station? Further east. It's out of range for a day hike. You uh, got a campsite set up somewhere? Just day hiking. Not yet, bitch. No, not yet. Well, where's your stuff? Backpack or... Uh... I don't... I was going to build a shelter. Build one, huh? <laughs> well, I admire that, but uh, that's not exactly... Uh... Yeah, exactly. You got a backcountry permit? I do not have a back country, Sorry, country permit. But you're gonna have to head back down. All right, I'll just day hike, bitch. Can't I just stay a little longer? Enjoy the view? Hmm. Why don't I stay too? 
I was about to have some tea. Want some? Uh, no, thanks. So, what's your name? Michael? Michael. I'm Leland. Hello, uh, Leland. Uh, a park ranger? Yep. Did stints in Zion, Bryce Canyon, <laughs> Pinnacles. Hold this for me. Ever been to Yellowstone? Yeah, I spent nearly a decade there. There can be nothing in the world more beautiful than the Canyon of the Yellowstone. That was said by... Theodore Roosevelt. That's right. So, you're a nature lover too, huh? Good thing I studied. You got my dream job. More of a history buff? Saw that on a postcard. You got my dream do job. I used to spend a lot of time in the forest near my house. You've sort of got my dream job. Well, fill out an application down at the visitor center. Really? It's that easy? Sure. You can clear the background check. Bluff floating. That's nice. You know, I've seen a lot of crazy things up here. Forest fire. And drop kick him off the cliff. But I always wondered is it really necessary that we carry these? But we are Border Patrol. In the rare event some criminal makes a run for it, we need to be prepared. It's crazy. <sighs> Big iron on his hip, flashing it at me. Look, you seem like a nice kid, but we got a stolen car down at the trailhead, which State PD says belongs to an 18-year-old who shot up a motel in Arizona and was last seen headed north. Not me, dude. Now, you got no water bottle. No headlamp. And you sure aren't dressed for camping without a tent. So, what's the deal here, Michael? What is the deal here? I could overpower you? You've got me wrong. Please let me go. You got me wrong, baby. You've made a mistake, sir. Have I? Then show me a driver's license. Show me a credit card. How about hiking shoes? Hell, a sweater. Look, it's no kind of life running from the law. You'll be living with that shadow over you. Oh, forever. maybe he's writing her from jail. Let me take you down the hill. I've never once fired this thing, and I sure don't want to start now. I'll surrender. I'm tired of running. ever start down a road I know you're headed the wrong way but you've gone too far to turn back it's never too late for that I'm just so tired of running from something I didn't even do didn't you I mean I was there at the motel but I was barely involved and I I definitely never killed anyone but you know what my life wasn't all that special if they want to give me the death penalty, like they say, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just how this ends. Okay, look. Another mile from here, there's a sign that says no entry. You follow that path, and there's a hill you can scramble down right across the Wow, border. he's letting me go. Why? Maybe I'm gullible. But I got goosebumps just now when you were talking. If you were lying, you're a hell of an actor, and if you weren't, no way you deserve death. Go on now. You and me, we never saw each other. What? Leland is a real Thank baller. You. Thanks, Leland. You want to give me your gun? <laughs>
Okay, are we gonna see Sharon again, or is her story done? Did they escape, or what? Another achievement sound, just what I wanted to hear. So those stamps are from the American side of the border. All okay, honey? Dad and I are worried about you. Call us. You sure this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. 14 years later. Jasper National Park, Alberta, Canada. What? I've been there. There's no way he'd be able to build a cabin. They would clear him out immediately. That's super illegal. Whoa, easy. Roosevelt, what's got into you? Ready with the cracky blaster. My god. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah. But the, they had they American stamps on them. They look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You've changed too. You look like Shaggy. You look older too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. How's the game and going? We're getting near the end. You won't need that pepper spray. He's illegally set up a cabin, cabin in Jasper National Park. So. The believability is low. Unless he's working here. Maybe this is a ranger station. Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. <laughs> so the bird watching said, book you stole. <laughs> letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. New scar? Question mark. Heard from Vanessa. How's your family? Ever been recognized? Uh, let's start with the scar. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she had just had cubs. Lesson learned. Uh, ever been recognized? In all these years, you've never been recognized? Just one time. When I first crossed the border, there was this ranger. His kindness saved my life. Since then, no. But I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. How's your family? Heard from Vanessa. Or normal, norm, no more small talk. Let's ask about Vanessa. What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She's been working behind the scenes on some TV show. She did well for herself. I'll ask I thought you. about writing her too. But I don't know. We said our goodbyes. Maybe it's right to leave it that way. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll ask about her fa his family, too. Why not? Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler wasn't so lucky. He's on death row in Arizona. 
But that's it. It's just me now. No more small talk. Let's, so let's talk to Big Talk. Why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came in person. Why? I keep seeing your face and my dreams out on the streets. And I don't want to. And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye. That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. I've been struggling, you bitch. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. Man. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. Mm hmm. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe we are. Maybe in some ways. Jay, why? Why'd you start writing me? Yeah. I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. Now they're connected now. All these years later. You'd think I'd be able to move on. But I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Your family ruined my life? I don't hate you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But... You also looked out for me that night. Yep, true. I can't true. pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? Because you're kind? Hate destroys us? I have support. Hate destroys us, baby! Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Are you okay? I mean... Are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That my family was just pushing me around. But what if I'm wrong? <laughs> He's been hiding in the forest for what 14 years. Who I, am? I don't think so. Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? No, you're not. Who isn't? It might be. But who isn't broken? Just look at us. Anyone who pretends they're whole, they're full of shit. It's a fucked up world, I guess. Yep, true. It's a fucked up world. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. Yeah, <laughs> the bus stop, stop at the idea. National Park. Come on. Take care of yourself. All right? Sure. You too. The thing about shadows is you can't escape them. I didn't expect to be doing anything as Zoe. You in the just game. learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. No, 
Oh, Dad's wearing a suit. Why are some of us able to grow? You said you Sharon can't. probably got out of the country. <laughs> no reason. I love you. Appeal Why rejected. Some of us find ways to endure. Oh, there's Sharon. just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. <coughs> Excuse me. Nobody ever was. Oh, she put the pills away. <clears throat> New voicemail. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward is Jim That's Jay's me. dad? All of it. I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and let the see on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two rock. Oh. Yo, what the fuck? Grandpa? the fuck? What? What? D what? What? They l ended it on a cliffhanger? Oh my god. Wow, I don't know how to feel about that. So, so are they gonna do like As Dusk Falls Part Two, or is there gonna be DLC? Like, what's the deal? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, well, the cliffhanger really. It really makes me want to see what's going on. What's going on in the game. Uh, yeah, because there was a lot of stuff they didn't show, like, Grandpa's, like, whole thing about, like, they were recognizing him, he did something wrong, and then at the end there, like, was Grandpa killed? Was he just shot? Is he just, did they wing him or whatever, you know? Or did Grandpa shoot the bad guy? Like, we don't know what's going on there. Wow. I hope there's going to be some follow-up to it. That was an amazing story, though. Probably better than Until Dawn story. So this... This half of the game was way less intense than the first half. The first half, it was just like... Holy crap. You know, am I, am I going to get this guy killed? Like, what's going to happen, you know? The choices were way more intense in the first one. In the second one, they weren't as intense. I don't want to say it was more interesting in the second half, but... It was definitely, definitely different, for sure. So... Like, what's up next? They have Zoe going back there to see what's going on. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, we have to take a look at the uh, the grand scheme of how I played through the game here. Let's skip it. Here we go. Curb summary. Honor. 
trusting, and fast reflexes. I got fast reflexes every time. I only missed one event in the whole game, I think. Unless there was one at the start when I played tonight that I just missed because I wasn't paying attention. Let's see here. Look at all this intersection shit. I wonder if she ever knew he lied about the cancer. Yeah, I don't know. Walkers survived the desert dream. Okay, 65% got everyone to survive. 65% Zoe went to college. So Zoe doesn't have to go to college, apparently. Beat her record holding breath. 95%. May knew Zoe from college. Okay, interesting. Spoke about future with Vince. Old Vince about problems, only 42%. Had another nightmare. 50-50. Went in the hall or stayed inside. 91% placated the manager. 82% found Jim's wallet. 96 tackled an innocent pedestrian. 85% of people visited Jay in Canada. 82 learned Vanessa's fate. Sympathize with Jay, 66. Couldn't comfort Jay, 18%. Okay. What's going on over here? Wow, look at all these different choices here. Only 27% draw finesse off in Idaho. What? Roadblock alone. Convinced cop alone. Reach border alone, not pursued. Crazy. 23% met the ranger. 8% let the J go. Wow. Holy. And this is where they met. Oh no, we already looked at this. And here's like the different endings. Vince and Michelle's fate. Vince took off his job after settlement, 17%. Michelle escaped uninjured, 53%. Vince and Michelle stayed married. Well, we already knew that they stayed married. We already knew that they stayed married. Tyler's fate, he got arrested. So there could be a what? Tyler's fate can be arrested escaped and killed maybe sharon's fate escaped country with paul 62 percent wow crazy 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 okay let's see there was an extras menu here insights and credits oh that's all you can do is look at all the insights what a game Exactly. What is this? Top values love, trusting, playstyles, soulmate, and nemesis. What is this? My top values are love, honor, and honesty. Yep. Oh, look at this. Okay. So the values, love, honor, and honesty. Huh. Trusting, sincere, and brave. Only 8% got the same badges as me in these. Crazy. Play style. Fast reflexes, quick thinker. And the third one is locked. All arounder, analyst, assessor, committer, daydreamer, decision. What? Lone wolf? What are all these? God, I kind of want to play through it again.